What's going on YouTube, GSN right here. So in today's video, I have some important Troll Store 2 updates that were just released. One of these brings some important features, for example, enabling developer mode directly on iOS 16 plus without a computer, which a lot of you needed because you don't have computers. So we're going to get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by Formiki, a software that allows you to remove the iCloud activation lock and it's compatible with iOS 15 and 16. This is best used for devices that you bought secondhand and they don't work, they can't be activated got scammed on Facebook groups or eBay, definitely check the program out in the link below. A free trial is available for both Windows and Mac OS. There is also a 20% coupon available and this does support devices that simply error out when you try to activate them. For example, activation error or unable to activate. Or if you have a device from abroad and you don't have the proper SIM card. So a couple of hours ago, developer OPA234 released a couple of updates for Troll Store, one of which is 2.0.9, which adds the ability to enable developer mode on iOS 16 Plus right from within Trollstore itself. Now this normally is done through Xcode. If you connect your device to Xcode, this will enable the uh, developer mode or if you try to sideload something on iOS, that would also trigger developer mode and you need to restart the phone. However, if you don't have a computer, there's no way to turn that on so you can't sideload applications. Well, Trollstore figured out a way to do this. By 2.0.9, we now have the option to do so. It added an error message when encrypted binaries are found and then we also got a couple of updates fixing some stuff. So 2.0.10 fixes some issues introduced in 2.0.9 with the um, entitlement. It improves encryption detection code to not produce an error if only some binaries are encrypted, as long as the main binary is decrypted. Only a warning will be shown. And then six hours ago, we got the version 2.0.11. And this one fixes a UI bug where app icons could appear in the wrong row under certain conditions. The biggest issue in here is with the uh, regression that was fixed in 2.0.10. It's best to have these updates. And then the 2.0.9 which adds the option to enable developer mode which is nice because you no longer need a PC to do so anymore. Now, if you don't know how to install Trollstore 2 I do have an article here on iDeviceCentral.com called how to install Trollstore 2 on iOS 15.0 up to 16.6.1. Trollstore 2 by itself also supports iOS 17 though there's no install method available at the moment. For other iOS versions you can use Miseka in order to install it and here I have the entire guide on how to do so. There is also a video available. So, yeah, definitely check this out, but do update to the latest version of Trollstore. It does bring some important features and fixes. Thank you for watching. I am GS Snow. Till the next time, peace out.